So substitution is when you're changing the letter for the number. So P equals 3N. Now that means three lots of N. 3N is the same as three times N, but we don't write the times because it could look like an X and that would be quite confusing when it came to um, changing letters to numbers. So 3N means three lots of N and we're told that N is six. So all we need to do for this question is P equals three lots of six or three times six and that is 18. So three times six is 18. Now for the next question, Q is 2C add D, C is 3 and D is 2. So work out the value of Q. Well, that Q would equal 2 lots of C. 2 lots of C is the same as 2 lots of 3 because we're told that C is 3. And then we need to add on D, which is 2 because we're told that D is 2. Working this out, 2 lots of 3 is 6. Add on 2 means that Q is 8. For the next question, we're asked to work out the value of 3p add 4q when p is 5 and q is minus 2. So that's 3 lots of p, so 3 lots of 5, add 4 lots of q, which is 4 lots of minus 2. 3 times 5, 3 lots of 5, is 15. And 4 lots of minus 2, when we have a positive and we're multiplying that by a negative, that makes a negative. So we do 4 times 2 like usual, but if one's positive and one's negative, it makes a negative. Now a positive and a negative like this, plus minus next to each other, is going to make a takeaway. So 15 take away 8 equals 7, and that would be my answer for that one. Given that y is 4x minus 3... Work out the value of x when y is 11. So I'm going to take the fact that I know that y is 11 and put it into here. So 11 equals 4x minus 3. Now this is actually an equation because we've now got to solve it and work out what x is. When we solve equations, I like to put a dotted line. And what we do to one side, we need to do to the other. So the first thing we're going to do is add 3 to both sides because that will get rid of the minus 3. So 14 equals 4x. And now we know that 4x means 4 lots of x. So the opposite of timesing by 4 is dividing by 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4 and that will just get me 1 lot of x. And 14 divided by 4, well dividing by 4 is the same as halving and halving again. That will always divide by 4. So 14 halved is 7 and half of that is 3.5, or you could use a calculator if you weren't sure. X would be 3.5. And last but not least, work out the value of 5X add 1 when X is minus 3. So that's 5 lots of minus 3 add 1. 5 lots of minus 3 is minus 15, because again we're doing a positive multiplied by a negative. Add 1. Now think about your number line. If you're at minus 15 on the number line and you add 1, you're going to come up towards zero. So we're going to go up to minus 14, that's one bigger, and that would be my answer. I hope you found that helpful. Substitution is just changing the letter for the number. Let me know if there's any questions you'd like me to go through in the comments.